we're going to go into Excel Power Pivot. Uh, not, uh, not Power Pivot, but Power Query. So let me share my screen. Okay, so this is a common issue. So let me make sure that I, I so everybody sees. Okay, so um, a common issue is getting data like this. Okay, so we've got Team 1, Team 2, and Team 3. So we've got name, city, age. This one has start date. This is, you know, the other ones don't have start date. So an issue is how can you append this data, right? Um, you can highlight this and copy it and paste it in, and that gets kind of messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Power Query, and I'm going to go from table. Uh, now, God's country. I love it. Here is a, a problem here because now we got to get on another screen. Uh, which, okay, this one. This is the Power Query editor. Okay, so now we've got our Team One data. So let's see. So we're going to call this. Let's call this Team One. Team 2 query, and we're not going to load this to the worksheet, but we're going to apply and close. Good. All right, so this is starting to create these queries over on this side. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got Team or Team 2 to a Team 3, Power Query, Table. Okay. Now let's see if we can append here. So we're in three now, so let's append one. Okay. There it is. Now let's append two. All right, so now they are all together here. Now we can and see also how with this team that had start dates, the start dates are here, and there's a column for the ones that didn't have a start date. But everything has been appended, and so we can even do some things. We can uh, add columns, remove columns. We can do some a little bit of work in here, and we can even say close this and not load it to the worksheet, but just save it as queries that we can do work with later. But I am going to load this onto the worksheet. And so apply and close. Now it's got, it's created a sheet six with our appended data. So now let's change this format because it's changed to that Excel dating. So let's yep. change this to short date. And now our data is all together without copying and pasting and we did it in Power Query and some other things that you can do in Power Query is uh, here let's go back uh, anyway um, so you, you can do you can merge, you can do a lot of things in Power Query. I'm just starting to investigate it. There's some great stuff happening in Power Query. It's worth going in and checking out just from being able to append that data without the copy and paste or trying to write formulas and dragging them over. So that is the hot tip that I have to share today. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to give that uh, four. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have to do it. Um, I haven't checked it, tested it to see, you know, how how it compares to other things. But there was an add-in a while ago that would, well, it probably still does exist. But I tried an add-in that would append data, and the interface was complicated. But I think this one is a little easier. It's a little bit to think about in order to do it. But here in Excel 2013, 
with Power Query, you can merge and append the data. 